to my channel, TA Hunters. So in this video, I'm going to be looking at a new digital day and night scope from a company called One Leaf. But I just want to say, uh, bear with me <coughs> in this video because I'm struggling today. Woke up this morning with this horrible cold and um, that's why my voice is a little bit croaky and I look like, I won't say it, but you can see what I look like. Um, so One Leaf, I've worked with this company before. Uh, about two years ago, they sent out to me a uh, scope called the Rapid Fire Plus Commando NV100. And um, I absolutely love this little scope. It's got the uh, the uh, add-on on the back of the scope, which it clips on. And I attach this to my Air Arms S510 Tactical. And then, yeah, like I said, it was brilliant little setup. But it's time for an upgrade. So, one leaf, I've brung out the new digital day and night scope with a rangefinder on it and also got a IR torch built onto it as well. So it is the uh, Commando NV400 uh, 4 to 52 times 50 uh, digital day and night scope. Um, it does record in 4K and also it's got um, a 13 times digital zoom on this as well. Um, I know the box is quite large but you do get quite a lot of stuff in it as well. So we'll quick go for it now and I'll show you what you get in the box. So right, I've took it all out of the box now, just placed it on the table just to show you what you actually get inside the box and you do get a fair amount of stuff remember this uh, scope is going for 550 pounds and you get all the extra bits as well so it's well worth the money you know but what i'll do now i'm just going to quick go through the bits what they actually do so we've got the uh, the menu here uh, very well illustrated and all in english please go through this before you uh uh, start attaching the scope to the rifle because it's got a calibration system on this as well. You need to calibrate the scope before use, and it's got a lot, a lot of um, good illustrations in there as well. Uh, what the scope actually does. So please go through that before before you use the scope. So we have also <coughs> we got two eye cups here. Uh, two different lengths and they both screw on to the back of the scope stick them over there we've got a, a sunshade here as well that also screws on to the front of the uh, scope and that will just stop any bad lighting coming through to the lens but that really does work very well it does look a little bit funny once it's on the scope but it works so that's the main thing um, we've two, we have two leads here, we have the USB lead here, this is in a Type C, so that, that will charge up the uh, the scope, uh, because it does have two internal batteries in this as well, well these two batteries here as well, so uh, that will charge up the scope, we have a, H, a HDMI lead as well, that connects it to the computer, Going to take any footage off the scope through the computer. Uh, we have a couple of tools here as well, a couple of random key tools that is to attach the um, the scope, uh, not the scope, the rangefinder, and also the IR torch to the scope. And also we've got the uh, a little six sixty five millimeter cap here. That will sit on top of the scope that is so you can put a a, a bigger battery into the uh, scope but we'll go through that in a minute what that does um, of course got some two batteries here as well um 18 650 battery there that, that one there is for the the ir torch and like i said this has got two of these built into the uh 
to the scope as well internally but you can't take them out but this one here is an 18 i think it's an 18 500 battery and that would just plonk straight on the top the scope but you can swap that for a big one which like i said i'll go for that in a minute and we've got cleaning cloth and also it comes with a little battery charger as well so that is a that's a very very good little feature there as well so that's what you get in the uh, box and i've mounted the scope already to the rifle and i'll show what that looks like right now so right move on to the scope now um very well built made of solid aluminium um, the length of this is 14.2 inches long and it weighs in at 1732 grams quite heavy compared to the rapid fire plus that weighs in at 1277 grams so you're looking at a 500 gram nearly 500 gram difference in weight but you do have the add-ons onto this you've got the ir torch on this and the laser rangefinder so uh yeah it does come in quite heavy especially if you, especially out in the field when carrying this rifle around that's why you need a good set of guns like that but can't moan about that it's still a lovely looking scope so right we move on to the front of the scope um we have the uh the cap on the front of the scope which opens up obviously at night you're going to open it up to let more light in and um especially on a on a night night shirt that's what you use it for on the day shirt you'll close it back up it does come across a little bit stiff as you can hear um once you clip it back in leave it like that and that is a twilight mode as it's just getting dark and then you can put your um your sunshade on that which screws straight on the front and that is for daytime use um whoops it does come it does look a little bit strange once it's once you put it on as you can see that so i don't know about that but it does work so <coughs> you can't moan but we'll take it off for now So right, we'll go on to the uh, front focus here. Uh, the front focus is really, really smooth, but it's even got a, uh, a little bit here, a little screw on bit. You can screw something in there as well, just to uh, just to grip onto it and move it a little bit easier. But as you can see, it moves very, very well. Yeah, it does come with the mounts as well. And it's got like a Picatinny um, attachment on the top. So you can stick another IR torch on this. Uh, this IR torch does connect to the top of it. Uh, the IR torch. So we have a front focus uh, lens on this as well for the, uh, for the IR torch. The more you uh, wind it out, the tighter the beam will get. And bring it back in and that will literally flood the area um, it does have also three levels of brightness just by clicking the back of the um, torch you'll see me go for different levels on this um, it has got a uh, an 18 6 50 battery in that and that powers that up and I believe this goes up to um, 433 yards or 400 meters and it does work very well later on I'll show you some footage some nighttime footage of this and it works it does work very very good also you can add another IR torch on the back of it if you wanted to just attach it to this uh, Picatinny rail a um, quick spin the rifle round and we now we'll go through the uh, the rangefinder um, just one of its advantage with this 
Um, it's not got a blissed calculator on this, so a little bit gutted about that because that would be a really, really good feature. But it doesn't really matter at all. Um, the rangefinder is uh, powered by two internal batteries in this as well. This um, runs obviously the uh, rangefinder. Um, there is uh, two bolts there you can un you can undo there, and that would take the rangefinder off. Off, so you don't really need to use that. Um, it has got a red dot on this as well, so you can use the red dot. And also, you've got two little Allen keys there as well, so you can uh, you can move it around and you can line it up where you want it to go. Um, I believe it goes out to one thousand one hundred yards as well, and it does work very very well. You know that is a laser rangefinder. Um, on the back we have the uh, the uh, the, fo the eye focus ring on the back, which is very very smooth as well, and uh, and then we have the uh, we have all the menu buttons here as well. Uh, menu buttons is very very simple. All you got to do is uh, click it down, and that will go through the menu. And if you want to focus your thirteen time zoom, you just click it uh, to the left and the right, and that will focus in where you want to go will that zoom in to where you want to go that will focus it in not that that will zoom it in and we've got some buttons on there as well um, the good thing about these buttons here um, they do light up at night as well so you will see uh, what you're actually uh, the buttons you're actually pushing on at night it does get quite tricky um, when you're trying to work out what button does what so uh, yeah Good little feature there. Um, spin this around again, and then we've got the on the side. We have a cap, which once you undo, you will see uh, little ports in there. This is for your um, HD MI lead and your USB lead also on a little cover there under the cover a little cap there a little cap, rubber cap you have as well a little micro SD card as well they give you as well so that's that's a good little uh, good little thing to have as well um, I believe it is by looking at it, it is a 64 gigabyte little memory card as well. So that is a nice little touch on that. Let's quick do that up for now. Um, I forgot to show you as well. I want to show you. Um, this is where the power button is as well. Give it a long press as well. And that will turn the unit on. Um, on top of the rifle, we have another little uh, 50 millimeter uh, length cap on this. So once you start undoing the cap um, and you put in your 18500 battery in there, um, instead of putting the battery in there uh, to make this unit last just a little bit longer, you can put in an 18650 battery in there but instead of using the five uh, the 50 millimeter cap you'll be using the 65 millimeter cap just a little bit longer it does stick up a little bit further up in the air but this will make this battery last just a little bit longer and that's how it goes so right, I was going to show you some um, footage through the front of all the different features in this little scope, but the camera I've got is not picking this up. You know, I'm a bit, a little bit gutted a bit really because obviously looking through this, this is crystal clear. You know, this is a 4K recorded little unit as well. But once looking through this, you'll see other stuff come up like you've got your gyroscope, your compass, uh, your date and time stamp, uh, battery uh, power. 
on there. So uh, yeah, a little bit gutted. I can't really show you it through there, but you'll see it all on the menu as well. Um, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you uh, links uh, in the description and here. Check these names out, please, because these are some of my pals who are doing more in-depth videos than me, uh, especially when it comes to the uh, looking for the menu system. Um, it is packed with loads and loads of stuff. It's got the One Shot Zero. It's got your gyroscope. It's got your compass. It's got your picture-in-picture, picture, front, second, focal plane as well. So it's packed out with loads and loads of stuff in this. So, uh, yeah, to be honest, I'm, I'm more of a hunter um, than I am a re reviewer. So I am dying to get this out and the field and do what this scope is meant to do. Um, I will bring in two more videos out on this, on a daytime hunting shirt and a nighttime hunting shirt. So look out for them. So at the meantime, I'm going to take this down the back the garden where I've got a little shooting range down there and I'm going to plink off a few targets and show you what the uh, quality of the daytime footage is on this. Um, I'm trying to say when you use a daytime footage I would use uh, 4k uh, 120 frames per second and on a nighttime shoot use 4k 30 frames per second that will give you a better a picture um, on this unit so uh right let's go down there now plink a few targets and then also i'll give you some nighttime footage i've got down the back as well where i've got my um geese down there got a few rabbits and what else i've got down there i've got some white doves down there and some ponies so i'll show you what the nighttime footage is on this as well but it'd be no killings on this video i know the next two so so guys, I just want to say thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, well, I haven't because of this horrible cold. And um, hopefully I'll see you on the next video in, um, in a better state. So uh, take care and I'll see you soon.